The secret sauce. Well, you know, if you think about influence and, and brands, I think there are, there are really two things to it. One, one uh, very practical and one maybe a bit more emotional. And if I think about the practical side of President's Choice, um, you know, it is the single largest food brand in this country by, by a long shot. It is in more pantries and refrigerators and cupboards uh, and, and, and being touched and used and eaten by more Canadians than any other brand in this country each and every day. And, and that, I think, is sort of the practical side of influence. Uh, on the, you know, maybe more emotional side, President's Choice has been around for 25 years as, as the brand that has really shaped the food agenda in Canada. From um, you know, introducing Canadians to then you know, extremely exotic things like Szechuan peanut sauce, which were outlandish some 25 years ago to, to uh, today where, where we strive to, to remove uh, and have just finished removing all artificial color and artificial flavor from each and every President's Choice product in our lineup. You know, those are the things that I think have, have really shaped uh, the food agenda in Canada and continue to do so. Yeah, 2013 is a, was a very big year for us, a very big step uh, in, in, a, in a journey that we're on, um, a journey to, to truly modernize our marketing mix. Uh, historically, uh, we've been a very traditional marketer. We, we, we've uh, focused largely on television and on print, and uh, print being flyers. And, and, uh, and over the, over the last few years, we've begun the process to, to, to adapt and adopt that marketing mix a bit. And 2013 was important because we laid the foundation for a new, more modern marketing mix, and that was the launch of PC+. And if you think about um, you know, what happened with the President's Choice brand last year, um, it really is the in, 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 you know, introduction of PC+, as our new one-to-one -one consumer communications platform and intelligent consumer engagement engine. That, uh, that I think is, is uh, you know, evidence of us being back in the top 10 and I think it's gonna hold us in, in good step in the next, uh, next years going forward. Don't think that traditional media is done. I think, uh, I think there's, there's a, a significant role, for instance, that television continues to play in, in, in driving an emotional response and an emotional bond with consumers. And we've seen that to be uh, very important for us in driving our in driving our brand health with uh, with President's Choice, but um, but the consumer is changing. The, the consumption patterns of media are changing, and particularly as you look at millennials, um, you know, in in this realm of food, which which is so content rich and so information rich, the the, the web just is a, a, an outstanding opportunity to engage in a in a far more meaningful uh, way than we could in print or, or than we, than we could even on television. So for us really it's all about understanding your personal needs and wants and desires and then engaging you with relevant and meaningful content. I think the biggest challenge that we, that we, uh, that we face, the, the, the thing that would, that would keep me up at night is the, the fight for talent. That, that is the, the fight for talent. And that's not new, that's, that's the fight uh, that we've been fighting for you know, as long as I've been in business. But in marketing, I think the fight for talent is changing a bit. The types of people we're, we're competing for and the types of companies we're competing with for that talent uh, is changing. You know, people, people that are, that are um, you know, um, in, in the analytics space, for instance, you know, you've got this, this asset like our PC Plus program generating vast amount of data. You, you, you tie into that uh, data coming from apps and from the web that, that gets, you know, gets you to this big data discussion that's, that's happening out there and the, the ability to turn that data into uh, meaningful, actionable insight. Uh, not, not a new problem space, but, but a, a problem space that, that you know, today, I think, is far more relevant as we have this explosion in data. And then, and then uh, the second kind of talent pool that we, that we really hadn't seriously uh, uh, employed in our organization is, is digital talent, community managers, people that are social media experts, people that are web experts, people that know how to build an app on an Android versus uh, an iOS, I mean, skill sets that, that we compete with uh, technology companies for today. Historically, the brand has been a brand 
uh, that was a relentless innovator. And it's at the core, the fundamental core of the President's Choice brand is to be a relentless innovator. So leading edge of, of always bringing you new things, of, of always uh, introducing you to new flavors, of always solving problems for you is, is, uh, is, is at the core of the DNA of the program, uh, of, the, of the brand. And, and, and as, a, as a result of that, I think we, we do well. We do well there, but we also have presence because we are the largest brand in this country. You know, we, we uh, through our network serve 13 million Canadians every week, so we, we many many Canadians touch the brand each and each and every day. In, in the next 12 months, we'll have a, uh, a a rapidly accelerating change in our media mix and in our marketing mix. Uh, we are committed to uh, to modernizing our go-to-market approach from that traditional model of, of television and print to, to a model that is much more customer centric and much more about a one-to-one -one relationship with the customer. We are very much committed to, to reducing the amount of, uh, as we say in retail, paper on the street that, uh, that we have out there and, and, uh, and, and uh, reinvesting significantly in, uh, in um, you know, our own owned networks first and foremost and building out our owned network and then uh, digital media to, to, to supplement that. In, in food, um, you know, a lot of it is about content. So, so creating, creating a relevant, meaningful Canadian content that, that uh, of authority is is something that is important to us going forward. Content that lasts, that that stands the test of time, uh, in the digital realm, uh, and then enabling people to find that content would be would be the uh, the next bit around that. Where we struggle, frankly, is is a bit more on uh, on our media approach to um, to social media. As, as um, you know, the, the, the ground rules are being rewritten uh, in that in that space rather frequently, and it's very difficult as a marketer today to to um, have a predictable outcome uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a social media investment strategy. So we, we continue to struggle a bit with that. Of course, brands like Nike and like Apple are, are always uh, brands we watch in, in, in terms of how they go to market. But I think inspiration will, will come from, from just about anywhere today. And often comes from, from our retail network, actually. I think Google would be up there as, a, as an influential brand uh, in 2013 uh, again and, and continue to be up there for, for some time to come.